Hello everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, we will discuss multiple choice question with solution on mass transfer operations, which are mostly related to diffusivity. And most of these are asked in gate exam. If you know the answer to any question, please comment in the comment box. And if you like my video, please like, comment, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel, which is Chemical Idda. So let's see the first question. Suppose component A the fuse through stagnant B at 1 atmosphere and 298 Kelvin. Na is equal to 2.3 into 10 raised to minus 5 kilomole per meter square second. If the pressure is increased to 10 atmospheres, Na will be dash kilomole per meter square second. Options are Option A 2.3 into 10 raised to minus 4 Option B 2.3 into 10 raised to minus 6 Option C 2.3 into 10 raised to minus 5 Option D 1.7 into 10 raised to minus 5 So answer is option A 2.3 into 10 raised to minus 4. Let's see how. So in this problem we have given when pressure P1 is equal to 1 atmosphere Na1 is equal to 2.3 into 10 raised to minus 5 kilomole per meter square second and when pressure is increased, that is P2 is equal to 10 atmospheres. We have to find Na2. So as we know, for diffusion through non-diffusing B, that is stagnant B, molecular fluxes, Na is equal to DAB into P divided by RTZPBM into PA1 minus PA2. From this equation we can conclude that Na is directly proportional to pressure. Hence for condition 1 and 2 this equation can be written as. So after putting and solving it, we get Na2 is equal to 2.3 into 10 raised to minus 4 kilomole per meter square second. Hence we get answer as option A 2.3 into 10 raised to minus 4. Now, next question. In a mass transfer of A in B, K is equal to 1 into 10 raised to minus 1 centimeter per second. And DAB is equal to 1 into 10 raised to minus 5 centimeter square per second. Find the film thickness. Options are Option A 0 0.1 Option B 0 0.01 Option C 0 0.001 Option D Data insufficient. So answer is option B 0 0.01. Let's see how. So in this example we have given K that is mass transfer coefficient is equal to 1 into 10 raised to minus 3 centimeters per second and DAB that is diffusivity is equal to 
1 into 10 raised to minus 5 centimeters square per second. So we have to find film thickness. That is Z. Hence as we know, K is equal to DAB divided by Z. From this equation we can write Z is equal to DAB divided by K. So after putting the values and solving it, we get Z is equal to 0.01 centimeters. Hence we get answer as option B 0.01. Now, next question. Pure aniline is evaporating through a stagnant air film of 1 mm thickness at 300 Kelvin and total pressure of 100 kPa. The vapor pressure of aniline at 300 Kelvin is 0.1 kPa. The total molar concentration under these conditions is 40.1 mole per meter cube. The diffusivity of aniline in air is 0.74 into 10 raised to minus 5 meters square per second. What is the mass transfer coefficient is? Options are Option A 7.4 into 10 raised to minus 3 meter per second. Option B. 7.4 into 10 raised to minus 3 cm per second. Option C. 7.4 into 10 raised to minus 3 mole per meter square second Pascal. Option D. 7.4 into 10 raised minus 3 kilomole per meter square second Pascal. So answer is option A 7.4 into 10 raised to minus 3 meter per second. Let's see how. So in this example we have given thickness that is Z is equal to 1 millimeter which is equal to 10 raised to minus 3. Total pressure that is P is equal to 100 kilopascal. Vapor pressure of aniline that is Pa is equal to 0.1 kPa. Molar concentration that is Ca is equal to 40.1 moles per meter cube. Diffusivity of aniline that is DAB is equal to 0.74 into 10 raised to minus 5 meter square per second. And we have to find mass transfer coefficient that is Kc. Hence, as we know, the formula for mass transfer coefficient is Kc is equal to DAB divided by Z. So after putting the values and solving it, we get Kc is equal to 7.4 into 10 raised to minus 3 meter per second. Hence we get answer. Option A. 7.4 into 10 raised to minus 3 meter per second. Now, next question. This question is second part of previous question. So in this question by using same given data. We have to find rate of evaporation of an aline. Options are Option A 2.97 into 10 raised to minus 4 moles per second. Option B 2.97 into 10 raised to minus 4 moles per meter square second. Option C 2.97 into 10 raised to minus 4 moles per centimeter square second. Option D. 2.97 into 10 raised to minus 4 kilomole per meter square second.
So answer is option D. 2.97 into 10 raised to minus 4 kilomole per meter square second. Let's see how. So given data is same as previous example. Including mass transfer coefficient that is Kc is equal to 7.4 into 10 raised to minus 3 meters per second. Which is obtained in previous example. And we have to find rate of evaporation of aniline that is Na. So the formula for rate of evaporation is Na is equal to Kc into Ca minus Cas. In this case for complete evaporation, we assume Cas is equal to zero. So after putting the values and solving it, we get Na is equal to 2.97 into 10 raised to minus 4 kilomole per meter square second. Hence we get answer as Option D 2.97 into 10 raised to minus 4 kilomole per meter square second. Now, next question. Air concentrated with solute P is brought in contact with water. At steady state, the bulk concentrations of P in air and water are 0.3 and 0.02 respectively. The equilibrium equation relating the interface composition is YPI is equal to 0.25 into XPI. Assume that the mass transfer coefficients Fg is equal to Fl are identical. The gas phase mole fraction of P at the interface YPI is. Options are. Option A. 0.064. Option B. 0.075. Option C. 0.16 Option D 0.3 So answer is Option A 0.064 Let's see how So in this example given that System of concentrated air with solute P is contacted with water. Bulk concentration of P in air that is YPG is equal to 0.3. Bulk concentration of P in water that is XPL is equal to 0.02. And mass transfer coefficient that is FG and FL are equal. And we have to find mole fraction of P in gas phase at interface. Hence for equilibrium condition at interface we can write. Given that Fg is equal to Fl. By equating above both equation and putting values we get 0.3 minus Ypi is equal to Xpi minus 0.02. Hence we get XPI plus YPI is equal to 0.32. But given that YPI is equal to 0.25 into XPI. Hence we get XPI plus 0.25 into XPI is equal to 0.32. So after solving it we get XPI is equal to 0.256. Hence YPI can be calculated as YPI is equal to 0.25 into XPI. So after putting the values and solving it, we get YPI equals 0.064. Hence we get answer as Option A. 0.064. Now, next question. Experiments were conducted. 
to determine the flux of a species A in stagnant medium across a gas-liquid interface. The overall mass transfer coefficient based on liquid side for dilute systems. For the above was estimated to be 4 into 10 raised to minus 3 kg mo per meter square second. The equilibrium data for the given system is given as y is equal to 2 into x. The flux across the interface in kg mole per meter square second. For bulk concentration of A in gas phase and liquid phase as. Y is equal to 0.4 and X is equal to 0.01, respectively is. Options are. Option A. 5.6 into 10 raised to minus 4. Option B. 8.5 into 10 raised to minus 4. Option C. 5.6 into 10 raised to minus 3. Option D. 8.5 into 10 raised to minus 4. So answer is. Option B. 8.5 into 10 raised to minus 4. Let's see how. In this example given that. Mass transfer coefficient based on liquid side that is Kc is equal to 4 into 10 raised to minus 3 kg mo per meter square second. For given system, equilibrium data is given as y is equal to 2 into x. Bulk concentration of A in gas phase that is yag is equal to 0.4. Bulk concentration of A in liquid phase that is XAL is equal to 0.01. And we have to find flux across the interface that is NA. So flux across the interface when one medium is stagnant is NA is equal to KC into XAG minus XAL divided by log mean of 1 minus XA where log mean of 1 minus xa is equal to now first we have to find this log mean term hence from this we can see that we have given xal and to find xag we use equilibrium data relation that is y is equal to 2 into x so after putting value of yag we get xag is equal to 0.2 now after putting the values of xag and xal we get log mean of 1 minus xa is equal to 0.89 hence in flux equation when we put all values we get na is equal to 8.5 into 10 raised minus 4 kilograms mo per meter square second Hence we get answer as option B 8.5 into 10 raised to minus 4. So that's all about important questions on mass transfer operations. In the next video, we will discuss another set of questions. If you like my video, please like my video, share this video with your friends, and subscribe to my YouTube channel.